Hi, Stephen here from SEO Gadget. This is just a short video, um, one we do occasionally. This one's on conversion rate optimization. This is something we do for some of our clients, but not all of you. Um, and a lot of questions we get at the start of conversion rate optimization work is how much work is it for the webmaster? Um, what goes on on the site? Those kind of the very practical questions. So, this is just a quick run through of that. Um, but before we get in, it's just take a sec to uh, talk about what we actually test. So the decision on what we're going to test is really an important part of what we get out um, at the end. We tend to test the kind of bold changes that we think are going to have a big impact on conversion. Yeah. And part of that is testing pages that have a significant amount of tracking um, and pages where there is a clear next page to be the goal. Um, and we will always be looking to test where the uh, where the money is. So basically, where people enter the funnel, those pages are key for us to test. Um, and the pages in the funnel, the pages that move people through your sales funnel, are areas we will test. And generally, we start with A-B testing and then refine that with multivariate testing. Um, and A-B testing, basically, we're testing completely different page designs. Those are the big different design styles that we test to see which is going to be um, have the most impact on conversion. So what happens when we're doing an A-B test is that we create a completely new page, a B version, um, that becomes the test page. So normally what we do, and in this case we'd send 90% or so of the people to your standard normal page and we'll send 10% to the test page. So what happens is we'll place on the standard page a control script which will decide when a user comes to the page should they be in the 90% that sees the normal page or should they be in the 10% that sees the test page. And each of the pages will have a bit of tracking script on the bottom which records which of the pages a user has seen. Um, and then we'll have a goal page that might be um, did somebody download something, did somebody buy something and that goal page We'll have a script that records which of the pages, the A or the B, that person came to complete the goal. So an example really is something like Basekit, their pricing page. So this is the original that you're seeing now. 90% of the traffic is down there. And then they have a variation, a design that they think might work better. And they send some people to that. And basically they're measuring um, out of those two designs, which sends the most through to their buy now page and the design that they tested increased their conversions the number of people coming through this funnel by 25 percent so that was a b testing we're testing these big different designs multivariate testing is um, testing different elements on a page um, basically what we'll have is we'll pick out maybe a headline, an image, and a call to action, and we'll test combinations of variations of those. So again, we have a control script, and that control script will decide which variations people will see. So maybe we'll have two headline variables, two image variables, and two different calls to actions, which creates eight possible combinations that a person can see. And the control script decides which of the combinations people will see, the tracking script records um, when the users see the content. And then we have a goal page that will record which combination people saw before they came here. Um, so what this lets us do really is not only come out with the best out of those eight combinations, but it allows us to see um, which of these three sections is the most important in getting people to make a decision. So we may find that the headline and the image aren't very important, but that the call to action is always important. And then on the next test, what we do is we'd come back and we test call to actions. So an example here is Hyundai. They test the picture, the text, and the call to action. This gave them a 62% increase, this multivariate test that they ran, in getting people um, to take a test drive. And in the back end, um, in Google Website Optimizer, this is what we'd see we're looking for an increase in conversion rate with a high confidence interval. This test did quite well for us. Thank you.